Good morning. So uh, I have to make a follow-up video. Um, I had to retitle retitled that YouTube Terms of Service video, and now it says I was probably wrong. This may mean the shutdown of thousands. Well, I went back through the Terms of Service because I had a few questions from some people, and I was correct in the fact that they call themselves a platform now and not a publisher, and that gives people more liberty with what they can post and what YouTube can take down. But the part that I, I remember reading it, but I didn't highlight it, and I should have, because it's the, probably the most important part. Doggone, it can't spell here. There it is. Sorry about that. That was boring. Um, YouTube may terminate your access to or your Google's accounts access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. So somebody told me Mike Adams pointed this out. I didn't watch it. He goes on too long. I like him, but he just takes too much time to hear the whole story, in my opinion. Um, so what does that mean, commercially viable? Well, my little channel over here with 59 views on a video, probably not commercially viable. The big channels will be, the trending channels, but like from my subscriptions, do we think these channels are going to be commercially viable? Some of them maybe, but just the nice people just talking to each other, commercially viable, pretty doubtful. And then I noticed this when I was going through here, all those uh, blank boxes, are things YouTube recommended? So from my subscriptions, look at all these. They're just trying to get me to go get the ad dollars, which is what this is all about. So either the CIA and DARPA and Alphabet are lose hemorrhaging money hand over fist, or they uh, truly want to shut down any kind of comments that don't match what's going on. One way around it, possibly, though. If you want to keep creating YouTube stuff, I got a uh, copyright content on here. It's not a strike because I'm not monetized, um, but you could hear songs in the background. And they claimed a play match, so the computer heard the music on behalf of Warner Brothers Records, monetized by copyright owner. If I had enough views, this m kind of makes them run ads or wants the money for the ads. So YouTube wants the money. They've got a claim. They're going to go put ads on there. And so you may be able to survive if you use a bunch of copyright material and get these warnings and, you know, whatever. Um, but you won't be monetized. So you're not going to make money on YouTube anymore. And that's just the way it is. Um, I don't see the, There's probably not a way around it. So I have this place over here on Brighteon. B-R-I-G-H-T-E-O-N. Don't know exactly how they want you to pronounce it. But I put some videos up. Um, 64 views, 26 views, 10 views, 13 views. I haven't really taken any time to grow this. so But it's it's a possibility. Got 100 views for that one. 300. Because I probably put... Oh, I, that's right. I mirrored Richie from Boston because they took his channel down. Or they took this video down. So I mirrored it and uh, got a bunch of views. Um, so that might be a way to go. I don't know. I just wanted to clear that up because when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I was wrong not to point out the commercially viable aspect because that's, I know it's going to kill my channel <laughs> immediately. December 9th, I'll be there. December 10th, I probably will not be. And it's no big surprise. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day. And thanks for your comments.